In a shakeup of the presidential office that we knew was coming, President Park Geun-hye replaced nearly half of her senior secretaries on this Thursday. The moves are designed, her office says, to push forward with the president's government as well as economic reforms. Choi Yoo-sun introduces us to the president's new secretaries. President Bak has named Gender Equality Minister and former ruling Senate Party lawmaker Cho Yun Sun as Secretary for Political Affairs. It's the first time a woman has been named to the post. The presidential office expects Cho's parliamentary and government experience to help her act as a bridge between the two sides. Ruling party lawmaker An Jung Bum was named Secretary for Economic Affairs. The tax, finance, and welfare expert played a key role in devising the president's election pledges. He is considered the right choice to lead the president's three-year plan to revitalize the local economy. Former prosecutor Kim Young Han was appointed Secretary for Civil Affairs. Citing his contributions to establish law and order, the presidential office expects Kim to restore discipline in public service and to deliver public opinion to the president without filters. And former president of Seoul National University of Education Song Gwang-yong was appointed Secretary for Education and Culture. The president's close aide will likely be given the task of not only reforming the country's education system, but relaying the president's policies to the recently elected progressive education superintendents. While replacing half of her secretaries with close aides, President Bak has confirmed confidence in her chief of staff, who has been criticized for the presidential office's recent series of personnel appointment failures and the government's lax response to April's ferry disaster. What's expected now is a reshuffling of the president's cabinet. While that announcement will likely come before President Bak's overseas trip next week, uncertainties linger as controversy mounts over the credentials of her prime minister nominee. Choi Yusun, Arirang News.